What's up, Raider Nation? This is Raider Joe, back with another motherfucking video. Let's discuss this donkeys game and how we can get this win, man. Three things, okay? Three keys to the game, and I'll also add in, you know, what I think uh, we should try to incorporate or at least try to do as well um, to help us win. But three big keys, man. Number one, pass that ball. In all three of our wins, Carr has had over 300 passing yards and at least two touchdowns. That's no coincidence, man. And he's still, even though we've had back-to-back -back shitty games offensively with two straight losses, he's still number two in passing yards right now at, I think, a little bit over 1,600 passing yards. So clearly, Carr is a factor, okay? And that's a big fuck you to all you Carr haters out there that say that he is not a winner, he's not a real quarterback. Let me tell you something, man. After Sunday, you're going to see why Carr and why we're lucky to have Carr, first of all, but more importantly, why Carr is our starting quarterback and is going to continue for more years to come. In any case, the biggest thing is pass the ball, expose that secondary uh, Big Ben had a pretty good game last week against them, uh, over 250 passing yards, two touchdowns, and uh, Chase Claypool had about 130 of those yards uh, with a touchdown as well. So he had a pretty good game, and I think that if we can expose that secondary like Big Ben did, we should be all right. Um, and I and I also think that Waller needs to have a big game, which he usually does have a pretty good game against Denver. So I think that. It's it's his time, man. This is this is his game to uh, to show up and just kind of bounce back. You know they've had a lot of BS going on, obviously. So I think that Waller showing up on Sunday is going to be a big factor uh, in that game. You know, in the passing game especially. Um, number two is going to be just like the Baltimore game, man. Limit Teddy Bridgewater. Okay, we limited uh, Lamar Jackson. Under his uh, average amount of rushing yards that game when we played Baltimore. So I think that for this game, we should be good. Pittsburgh did the same thing, man. With TJ Watt and all these guys they got, um, they only they only allowed one one uh, one rush, you know, one attempted rush for Teddy Bridgewater, and it went for 11 yards, and that's it. That's all he had. So if we can continue to put that pressure on him, make him make a mistake. Uh, downfield or whatever the case may be just continue to put that pressure on him and corner him man corner him as much as possible with Philon, uh, Philon you know Max Crosby uh, Nassib uh, you know Solomon Thomas Yannick all these dudes man if we can get them to pressure this motherfucker man he should be able to make a, a mistake or fumble you know which is obviously a mistake but he needs to get pressured if we want to win this game um, because I think that just like our offense needs to score, I think our defense, which brings me to my next point, needs to force a turnover. Those are the three things, man. That last one is big, though. Force a turnover because we, I think we've had one pick in all of our five games. So we definitely need to force a turnover. We definitely need to, you know, just force a mistake early, especially because, um, in my, you know, what I think, it could be a close game. It's a divisional game. So the last, you know, few against Denver have been pretty close, other than the one at home last year. But it's pretty much been close games, especially at mile high. So I think that if we can force a mistake, a turnover, um, that's going to be the difference in the game, man. Um, so those are the three things, man. But I also want to add this, man. It's been 12 straight games since we have not opened up with a touchdown, right, on the opening drive. Um, no matter who gets the ball to kick off the game, whether it be us or Denver, whatever our first possession of the game is, we need to score. And I'm not just talking about a field goal. I'm talking about a fucking touchdown, bro, because we need points. We need points early, and we need points, especially on that first drive. We need something to set that tone. So that when we go into halftime, we at least have 
something to go off of, something to, to feed off of, something to, to keep that momentum going. And if we don't have anything but three points or no points, because that's historically this season, that's what it's been going into the second half, I think that we're going to have a long game. So as long as we can score early, especially on that first drive, we should be good. And like I said, biggest thing for me, too, is pass the ball. Because in all our games that we've won, Carr has done that, and we've been able to come out with some Ws. So no more forcing that run. No more Gruden offense, thank God. I think we should be all right. And it's time for Waller to have a big-ass game tomorrow. So with that being said, man, go Raiders. Let's beat these motherfucking donkeys. And without further ado, Raiders. Let's get it.